Donald Trump was apparently concerned that China was going to send some serious weapons to the United States. And the weapon would be hurricanes, literally. He believed that China had the capacity, the ability, the capability to send hurricanes to the United States. This was during the beginning of his term. Of course, we're learning about this now thanks to former Defense Secretary Mark Esper. And here's what we know. Trump's question to other officials was whether China had the technology to create man-made hurricanes and then to deliberately send them to the United States. The repeated inquiries led to some in the administration referring to it as the then president's hurricane gun thing. In fact, one former official who spoke to Rolling Stone said this, it was almost too stupid for words. <laughs> and I did not get the sense he was joking at all. Another source also said, I kept it together until I got back to my office. I do not know where the then president would have heard about that. He was asking about it around the time, maybe a little before, he asked people about nuking hurricanes. And he did in fact think of nuking hurricanes. That was something that we covered at the time. But he believes in all sorts of crazy things, including the idea that wind might actually lead to severe consequences for your health. If you don't remember that, let's take a look. If you have a windmill anywhere near your house, congratulations. Your house just went down 75% in value. And they say the noise causes cancer. You tell me that one, okay? <laughs> you know, the thing makes it so. And of course, it's like a graveyard for birds. I just want to apologize for misinterpreting what Trump had said years ago. Um, it's not that the wind from the windmills caused cancer, it's that the sound from the windmills yeah. caused cancer. Yeah. Just it was want really to clarify. It was really ironic too because he accidentally gave cancer to all of his supporters there because he said, wow, wow, the same noise. <laughs> what are you doing? That's a super spreader event for cancer. <laughs> okay. Uh, to be fair to Trump, <laughs> you know I'm not going to be fair to Trump. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's just skip that part. Uh, no, by the way, I actually will be later in this uh, story. But how would China make hurricanes? He's like, I don't know. Everything's made in China. What if a billion people, they got a billion people. What if a billion people got together and were like <laughs> <laughs> Would it make a hurricane? Could, it could. All right, no seriously, I will be fair to Trump in that notice like everybody's saying hurricane gun. But Trump never said hurricane gun. Read the story carefully, the, the, his staffers started calling it Trump's hurricane gun thing. He, Trump had the theory that China was manufacturing hurricanes and was sending it over to us, but he didn't call it a hurricane gun. But on the hurricane nuke, that is now multiple sources confirming. He's like, they're sending the hurricanes. We don't like the hurricanes. Can we nuke them? And in case you don't remember that story, his staffers had to explain to the moron, sir, if we launched a nuclear missile into a hurricane, the only thing that it would do is it would release the radiation inside a hurricane headed towards us. And then it would mm. swirl the radiation around and then spread it all across America. So that's why it's not a great idea. So, so you're saying we shouldn't do it. Yes, Mr. President, we are saying you shouldn't nuke a hurricane. That will not help, it will be counterproductive. But look, you know, it's easy to make fun of the guy, but man, he won the presidency once. And then he nearly won it a second time. So a lot and of we'll, a lot of Republicans listen, saw that and thought, that's my boy. I know. And right now, I mean a million things could change from now till 2024. But it looks like he's poised to win again. Oh, God help and us. And it's I know, I know.